What's up guys, it's Noah here, and today, or it's actually the same day as the last two episodes I just made, but what we're going to be doing is I'll be doing some borrows to show you just how, like, realistic the drop rates are. And first one we're going to be doing is Daharuk, and I have no idea why I'm not praying. And you may be like, holy shit, Noah, you did work, but no, I'm playing on my legend which I've had for about two weeks. So I guess for two weeks I've I've done some work. But he's still honestly not that great. He has strength and attack maxed and almost HP. But what I've been working on is defense. And we already got Daharik down, so that wasn't hard at all. You know what? Just to make this a little bit more interesting of a video, I might just leave prayer off. We're going to go no prayer whatsoever on this. Borrows runs with no prayer. So let's see how good we can do on Varak. Varak. Almost said the Nazi zombies level. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Alright, fuck. This is. This dude's being an asshole. He ain't getting hit at all. Let's try. I should be. I should have leveled up my mage for this because that would have made it a little bit easier. Luckily, I got rock tails, so that's why I'm not really worried about praying. Why am I not using those either? Come on, fucking drop it! Thank you. And we'll go ahead and use that. Or no, but just use uh, piety. Oh, Varric's actually hitting me pretty good. The one dude I am gonna use fucking prayer on though is Hiram's, because I'm wearing all plate mail and I, uh, he can't fuck me over since I'm doing that. So we'll dig and turn on our prayer and search this sarcophagus. And uh, on Soul Split, <coughs> uh, borrows can actually be a really damn good way of making money from like level, basically level 40 to when you're maxed out. And um, it's. Did I already kill him that fast? Wow, okay. Because as soon as you get a. Each piece only sells for like 5 to 6 mil um, a piece, but if you. If you get a full set, and you're going to have to run it a few times to get a full set, but if you do get a full set, uh, all sets, all the melee sets except for Daharuk, sell for um, 40 mil when they're full. Daharuk sells for 50 mil just because of its bonus, and I think Ahiram's and Carol's sell for 30 mil full. But regardless of whether it's full or not, if you just have a piece, it's five to six mil, whatever you want to sell it for at the time. So we got Torak down, and I'm just blazing through this. And 84 defense. So here's a or Carol's. Somebody was just calling me, so I had to focus on that for a second. God damn it, that's loud. Carol's is going down no problem, and Guthin is going to be our tunnel. And so instead of going through like all the halls and shit like you do on normal RuneScape, you just get teleported directly to the chest. <coughs> and when you search the chest, that's when the last brother comes out and tries to fight you. And bring it on, Guthin. I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I do. Come on, Guthin. Now that Guthin's down, let's check out the chest. Fucking 191 death runes. God damn it. But yeah, as you can tell, you're not gonna get all that much like every time. I think I've only gotten one piece of borrows myself. 
I had to buy this Varax um, and the flails in the bank. But uh, yeah, I think I've run this at least eight times. No, eight or nine times on my character and only gotten one piece. So the rates are actually pretty fucking fair, and this is on a legend account, so my rates are even a little bit boosted compared to like a sir or a lord. But yeah, as you guys can see, the uh, the rates aren't aren't super overpowered. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video of showing, giving you guys an example of the rates on Soul Split. If uh, if you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you want to ask me something or just talk about the video, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Catch you in the next video.